Concepcion, officially the municipality of Concepcion, is a first-class municipality in the province of Tarlac, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 154,188 people. History in 1860, the towns of Concepcion and Magalang once comprised a single town named San Bartolomé, presently an abandoned town and a barangay of Concepcion, which was a military commandancia of Pampanga under the Spanish regime. A great inundation devastated the whole settlement of then San Bartolomé in 1863 and the people were left with no other choice but to abandon the place. It was also at this point when the people were divided as to the place where they are to resettle. Some went north and others went south. The first group headed by Don Pablo Luciano, the governor Silo, organized its own settlement in the slope of Mount Arayat down south and named the settlement after him. Eventually, the place was renamed Magalang. The second group who took refuge up north comprised the Santoses, Laxamanas, Salvadors, Bumals, Castros, Dizans, Pinedas, Felicianos, Aquinos, Corteses, Bermudezes, Perezes, Punsalangs and many others, and settled to a place now called Sto. Nino, then occupied by the Lindos and the Amaraus, Don Escolastico Amarao and Don Gaston Amarao, to be their new site. Most of the settlers became dissatisfied with the place as it abounds with snakes and was scarce in water. They moved further south to a place we now know as Concepcion. The settlers began clearing the land and built huts and roads. After several years, they named their place Concepcion, after the Immaculate Concepcion, who is believed to be miraculous and to possess power over snakes that abound the place. Timeline 1863, a catastrophic flood devastated the whole town of San Bartolomé which gave birth to the towns of Concepcion and Magalang. 1897, the Katipunan was organized under General Servilano Aquino. 1898-1900, the first municipal president, Moises Castro, was elected under the short-lived Philippine Republic under General Emilio Aguinaldo. 1900, General Servilano Aquino was captured by the Americans and sentenced to hang. 1902, Captain Smith established the first American government in town and appointed Don Marciano Barrera as the first Filipino president. 1904, General Aquino was pardoned by order of the President of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt. 1911, the Gabaldon School building was constructed, costing about 50,000 pesos p 50, 000. 1918, influenza epidemic hit the town and people died by the hundreds. 1929, the municipal building worth 50,000 pesos p 50, and two bandstands worth 5,000 pesos p 5, each were constructed. 1935, the Commonwealth Government was installed with Don Gregorio Palma as the municipal president. 1939, the town plaza, costing 20,000 pesos p 20, was fenced and named Don Benigno Q. Aquino Sr. Memorial Park. 1942, the Japanese occupation of the town began, a period of brutalities and killings. 1942, the built of the military garrisons of the Imperial Japanese Army was stations active in the town. 1942-1944, recognized guerrillas and HUKBALAHAP communist fighters were aiding local troops of the Philippine Commonwealth Army units crashed the siege the conflict battles against the Japanese around the town until almost three years of siege are withdrew and retreating guerrillas and HUKBALAHAP fighters from the Japanese hands. December 27, 1944, Japanese occupation forces left the town. HUKBALAHAP took over until January 1945. January-August 1945, Filipino and American ground troops including recognized guerrillas and HUKBALAHAP communist groups liberated the town and defeating Imperial Japanese troops and World War II ends. 
1945-1946, the built of the General Headquarters of the Philippine Commonwealth Army and Philippine Constabulary was military active and station in the town was military operates around liberated in central Luzon or aiding recognized guerrillas, the HUKBALAHAP Communist Fighters and the U.S. Liberation Forces was fought against the Japanese until the post-World War II era. 1945, the Commonwealth government was re-established in the town. 1946, on Independence Day, General Servilano Aquino and Raimundo Panlilio hoisted the Philippine flag in a simple but solemn ceremony at the Benigno Aquino Memorial Park. 1948, Benigno Aquino Memorial High School was established. 1950, Citizens Army was organized to fight all forms of communism. 1951, the town won as the cleanest and the most beautiful town in the Provincial Cleanup Week. 1952, a municipal library was established. 1955, the political career of Ninoy Aquino began when he won as the youngest mayor of Concepcion by the age of 22. 1962, Concepcion was divided into two school districts. 1963, Concepcion was divided into three school districts. 1971, Concepcion was divided into four school districts. 1972, 40 days of continuous rain put the town under water. Concepcion Emergency Hospital was established. September 21, 1972, President Marcos declares martial law. 1974, Luking Bridge was reconstructed under the USRP aid, and the Barangay Market was constructed. 1975, the Concepcion Public Library building was constructed. June 1977, Concepcion Jaycees, Inc. was organized. June 17, 1978, Concepcion Educational Foundation CEFI, was organized. April 7, 1979, Rotary Club of Southern Tarlac RCST, was organized. October 8, 1979, Land Bank of the Philippines, Concepcion Field Office was established. August, 1980, Concepcion Water District was established. September 25, 1980, Concepcion Water District took over the reins of MWSS. April 28, 1981, District Electrification Committee was organized preparatory to the organization of the Electric Cooperative. June 8, 1981, Tarlac II Electric Cooperative was established covering the municipalities of Bamban, Capas, La Paz and Concepcion, Tarlac, and Zaragoza, Nueva Ecija, with Mr. Feliciano S. Garcia as president. February 28, 1982, the Assemblywoman Mercedes C. Teodore Overflow Bridge was constructed in Padpad, Barangay San Jose. August 1, 1982, TARELCO2 took over the reins of Campana Luz Electrica, CLE. March 14, 1983, Barangay San Nicolas Ballas became the first barangay to be energized by TARELCO2. March 19, 1983, inauguration of the approaches of the Parua River. August 21, 1983, Beningo. Ninoy. Aquino was assassinated. 1983, Aquino Memorial High School was reconstructed. 1984, the public market was reconstructed under the Economic Support Fund Secretariat. 1986, in the snap elections, Corazon C. Aquino, the widow of Ninoy Aquino was declared winner. February 22-25, 1986, the EDSA revolution took place. Corazon Aquino became the president while Alfredo Avena was declared officer in charge of the office of the mayor. 1986, a plebiscite for the approval of the revised Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines was held. 1987, a bronze statue of Ninoy Aquino was erected in front of the municipal building while Herminio S. Aquino was elected congressman for the 3rd District of Tarlac. 
1987-88, concreting of the Concepcion, Magalang Road. 1988, Danilo D. David was elected mayor of Concepcion. May 1989, Barangay election took place. July 1989, Budget Secretary Guillermo Carag turned over a check worth P14 million, 14 million pesos to the municipal government through Mayor Danilo D. David to purchase heavy equipment. Purchase was later made by the municipal government. July 16, 1990, the 1990 Luzon earthquake devastated Barangays Stonino, Sta. Cruz, Corazon de Jesus, Pitabunan Talamundoc, San Miguel, and partly destroyed the Immaculate Concepcion Church. June 12, 1991, Mount Pinatubo erupted bringing about far-reaching adverse consequences to the whole town. July 22, 1991, Lahar flowing mud and volcanic debris destroys Parua River dikes, wreaks havoc on nearby barangays, and totally destroys barangays San Martin, Malupa and the southern portion of Sta. Rita 1992, evacuees were resettled in Camp O'Donnell. March 13, 1993, Kabalacat Civicom Concepcion Tarlac Chapter was organized and founded by several amateur radio modulators. May, 1992, Alfredo P. Avena was elected mayor. December, 1993, the construction of the Concepcion Training Center began. January 27, 1994, Aquino Memorial High School was renamed Benigno S. Aquino National High School by virtue of House Bill No. 4952 authored by Rep. Herminio S. Aquino. This was enacted into law on May 4, 1994 as R.A. 7703. March, 2001, Benjamin Laxon was elected mayor. 2004, the Concepcion Legislative Building was constructed where the new Municipal Library is in the first floor and the Office of the Vice Mayor is in the third floor of the building. May 2004, Noel L. Villanueva was elected Mayor. 2005, the Bridge of Parua River was constructed to connect Brigi. Santa Rita to the other barrios in the south like San Antonio, Balutu, San Bartolome etc. with the inauguration ceremony headed by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. 2005-2007, the Immaculate Conception Parish Church was renovated. March 2006, for the first time in the history of Concepcion, only one candidate run for the office of the mayor spot which is Noel L. Villanueva only so he automatically wins. 2007, the municipal building was renovated. October, 2008, the back part of the municipal public market was renovated as a project of President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. November, 2008, the municipality of Concepcion joined the Belenismo ng Tarlac as one of their official candidate in the Belen making contest held in Tarlac City every December to January. December, 2008, as the people of Concepcion celebrates the Christmas season and the feast day of their patron Saint Immaculate Conception. They are also gathered for their municipal's 145th Foundation Day, on December 14, Sunday, a week of celebration every night started December 8-14. December, 2009, Anastasia G. Umal High School, formerly, Balutu National High School, was established. May, 2010, Noel L. Villanueva and Andres D. Laxon were elected as mayor and vice mayor, respectively. August 7, 2010, Kaluluan High School CHS, held its first grand alumni homecoming in celebration of its 44 years founding anniversary. The event was spearheaded by the school principal, Mr. Mario M. Tayag together with the school faculty. Highlight of the event is the founding of CHS Alumni Association and election of officers. May 2013 Mayor Andres D. Laxon elected as mayor while former Mayor Noel L. Villanueva elected Congressman of the 3rd District of Tarlac. August 21, 2014 Inauguration of the newly renovated B.S. Aquino Memorial Plaza 
September 2014 China Bank opens branch in Concepcion signifying the entry of big business and investors in the town. October 28, 2015 East West Bank opens its branch in Concepcion signifying the entry of big business and investors in the town. June 21, 2017 City Mall Stex Community Mall in Concepcion June 30, 2017 SM Savemore Market opened its branch October 12, 2017 Walter Mart opened its 25th Community Mall together with fast food chains such as Chowking, Mang I Nasal, Gilligan's Restaurant November 17, 2017 Pure Gold opens its branch in Concepcion July 24, 2018 Bank of the Philippine Islands opens its branch in Concepcion signifying the entry of big business and investors in the town. Geography Concepcion is one of the largest municipalities of the province of Tarlac. It is 7.5 kilometers from the Capas Junction along MacArthur Highway. It lies on the southeastern tip of Tarlac, bordered in the south by Magalang, Pampanga, in the east by San Antonio, Nueva Ecija, in the northeast by La Paz, in the northwest by Tarlac City, in the west by Capas, and in the southwest by Bamban. It covers an area of 245.7 square kilometers. It has two great rivers, the first being Luking River which originates from Dingding and Namria Creeks in Capas, Tarlac, is visible from the bridge at Barangay Santiago, it merges with the Rio Chico before joining the Pampanga River. The second is Parua River which originates from Sacobia Bamban River that comes from Mount Pinatubo. Parua River is heavily silted with 7 meters of sand deposits, its bridge was destroyed by Lahar and is visible at Barangay San Nicolas Balas, it also merges with the Rio Chico before joining Pampanga River. Both rivers are utilized for irrigating agricultural lands of the town, consisting mainly of rice and sugar crops. Parua River which at times appears as a bed of sand due to the scarcity of water, is also a quarry site for sand and ash used as construction material etc. Barangays Concepcion is politically subdivided into 44 barangays and population. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of Concepcion, Tarlac, was 154,188 people, with a density of 630 inhabitants per square kilometer or 1,600 inhabitants per square mile. Points of interest 72-year-old Aquino Family Ancestral House Concepcion Tarlac Family Ancestral House Concepcion Tarlac, the marker was unveiled by President Aquino Jr. on September 10, 2011. Ancestral Houses of the Philippines Santario de la Immaculada Concepcion, formerly Immaculate Conception Parish Church, belongs to the Roman Catholic Diocese of Tarlac, Latin, Dioecesis Tarlacensis, under the current bishop, Florentino Ferrer Sinens, appointed in 1988, and under the Vicariate of the Immaculate Conception, Vicar Forain, Monsignor. Terso de Quigan, Parish Priest, Titular, Immaculate Conception, Feast Day, December 8. Fr. Melvin P. Castro, Chancellor. Colonel Jesus R. Lapu's Memorial Sports Complex The Subic Clark Tarlac Expressway SCTEX Ninoy Aquino Monument, Bronze Statue Concepcion Municipal Hall, printed at the back of 500 peso bill Orchard Valley Resort Voice of America Relay Station Notable people from Concepcion Ninoy Aquino, was a youngest municipal mayor of Concepcion 1955-1959 and then he became the youngest governor of the Tarlac province and become a Philippine senator and a leading opposition leader to the autocratic rule of Ferdinand Marcos. He was assassinated at the Manila International Airport, now named the Ninoy Aquino International Airport in his honor, upon returning home from exile in the United States. His death catapulted his widow, Corazon Aquino, to the limelight and the presidency, subsequently replacing the 20-year-old Marcos regime from Brigi. San Jose Pob. 
Benigno Aquino Sr. was a Philippine Senator and served as Speaker of the Second Philippine Republic National Assembly from 1943 to 1944. He is the father of Ninoy Aquino, from Brigi. San Agustin Mercia. Eva Estrada Cala is a Philippine Senator and served as a Congresswoman in the Congress of the Philippines for seven years, 1965 to 1972. Serving in Congress during the presidency of Ferdinand Marcos nationalist, she was part of a major transformation in Philippine domestic and foreign policies, from Brigi. San Agustin Mercia. Jesley Aquino Lapuz, is a former congressman of 3rd District of Tarlac and the former Secretary of Department of Trade and Industry as of 2010. He had also served as Secretary of Education from 2006 to 2010. From Brigi, San Nicolas Pob. Lorna Tolentino, is a multi-awarded actress and TV host, from Brigi. Minane. Tyron Perez, is a teen star and Avenger in GMA's reality Artista Search, Starstruck, from Brigi. Alfonso CJ Suarez, is a 2003 World Cup bowling champion. Karen Punzelin, actress, reviewer model. Education There are five public high schools in this municipality comprising by Anastasia G. Umal High School, formerly, Balutu National High School, located at Brigi. Balutu, Concepcion, Tarlac. Benigno S. Aquino National High School, located at Brigi. San Nicolas Poblacion. Kaluluan National High School, Maine, located at Brigi. Kaluluan, Concepcion, Tarlac. Kaluluan National High School, Annex, located at Brigi. Pondo, Concepcion, Tarlac. Sta, Rosa Integrated School located at Brigi. Sta, Rosa, Concepcion, Tarlac. References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System Ancestral House of Aquinos Three generations lived in the house Aquino House Marker Unveiling Unveiling of the Marker